Many times we tend to hop into the next year unprepared mentally, emotionally, spiritually and physically. We carry leftover baggage into the new year and enter it without any spiritual guidance. So I am here to help you prepare for the new year ahead. But y'all tell him he a fine man oh. Big things he got a dynamo So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel If it's your first time here, hi my name is Ashley And I'm God's favorite child I know that's right If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much to Mr. for coming back yet to another video this is the bible i got very cute very aesthetic i got an niv version because this is what i feel comfortable reading and this is what i used for my a levels but i decided to get it in a cute color because why not my favorite color is pink i know it's a bit cringy but this is the bible i got i'm going to do a raffle and pick which book i'm going to start reading first but this is the bible i'm going to be using and i'm so so happy thank you to my sister for gifting me with this i'm so happy and i'm so grateful and i would definitely definitely utilize this book the word of god to the greatest level I took papers i tried to make them 66 because the 66 books in the bible i went on pinterest and i found uh the books of the bible thing my bob so i'm going to be writing all the names of the books of the bibles in these papers and then i'm going to pick my by my book for january I'm going to pick one. I hope it's a good book. Like maybe prophecy or a wisdom book, like Proverbs, you know, or Revelation. I don't have a John. Okay. So <laughs> First Thessalonians. It's actually very a very short book. So my first read for 2023 is First Thessalonians. Another thing I'm looking forward to, another thing I want to prioritize in the coming year is eating healthy. So I want to minimize taking sugary stuff and fizzy drinks because this year I really indulged in a lot of unhealthy foods. It was also a good way of me coping, um, stress coping mechanism when I'm stressed, when I'm going through pressure, I would literally just eat buy fast food or go buy chicken wings and all of that stuff. And in the coming year, I would like to minimize on fatty foods, eat less, and exercise more. Hey! Hey, listen. This time, this time, get your grandma out to see. This time, you So guys, another thing I'm trying to do is order more healthy things and not order like chips and chicken every time I go out. <laughs> <laughs> so, today I ordered, um, that's another like solution for me to order like more healthy things like pastas and stuff so i ordered a chicken wrap you know obviously it comes with the cheese but yeah but i ordered chicken wrap so yeah that's something i'm trying to be more healthy not to order chips and chicken every time i go out <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll speak a souped up cause you know when they run and they gotta flex a little for the hometown love Sliding through the bill, what it do, what it does Talking California, let me tell them what it was Had to pop up on the scene to give the Central Coast some love To give the Central Coast some bud Too smooth with it, baby, can't nobody tell me that What you know about the Berry City, show some love Had to get it one time, extra bounce with the fun Yeah, you know we finna slide out, take me to the front Oh, city going crazy, baby, that's just what it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, you know, I'm afraid of it. I tried, but we'll eat our salad next time. 
thing I'm going to be focusing on is planning. Now, essentially, this year I didn't have specific deadlines. I'll just write random um, plans or random YouTube things I want to do or academic things I want to do or special things I want to do. But I got myself a planner. It's called Daily Be Purposeful. And basically... Okay, here's personal information like your email, your phone number, your address, and then this is how it looks. So it's you circle the month, and then each each um, Monday, Tuesday is a week. So it's week one, two, three, four, five of that month. So January, Monday, I'll write whatever I. It's actually like this. I don't know why I keep saying it's like this, but January I write whatever I've planned then, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as it goes, and most of you know that friday is my uploading day so friday definitely youtube is going to be there i think planning is going to be much easier for me because i have so many things i want to set for myself this year i didn't achieve most of the goals like i said this year i said that i was going to get 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and i didn't get that but we're so close guys we're so so close anyways we're not gonna give up we're gonna keep working you know we're gonna keep being consistent and yeah let's do that I would also like to start my fitness journey. I tried doing it this year, but I, I failed. I got to March and I'm like, nah, <laughs> we're not doing that. And I would actually like eat way too much. I felt like I was wasting my time. I didn't have the right motivation because working working out in, in indoors is very hard. So I felt like mm -mm, I'm wasting my time. You know, there's no point of me doing this. So this year I read, I think I read like about five or six books, which is okay, it's good. Um, the last book, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. The first read of 2023 is Drum Roll, please. The Alchemist. I've read so much about this book, guys. People have been talking about it. Fear of missing out was getting to me. And finally, it has reached me this book i heard to realize once it says at the back to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation it's by paulo coel coel rhyming you say me you're saying me rhyming <laughs> but this is the book i'm going to be reading and i'm also gonna write a couple of, i also want to read um atomic habits by james clear uh, those are the two books I want to read next year like they're a must i have to read them but i'm studying 2023 with the alchemist i heard it's about religion spirituality so that's why i'm also like, intrigued to read this besides that waiting for the vibes and another thing that i would like to also prioritize is journaling reflecting on this past year a lot happened this year i lost so many friends i lost um some loved ones i lost i lost a lot of opportunities i lost a lot so i would like to reflect on this year through journaling writing down all my thoughts and that is going to help me to not make the same mistakes i made this year also to make me get in to give me some closure from this it's good to get some closure when you're getting to the new year because there's some things that have really are really like personal to you and emotional to you that you might not want to let go you want to you want to carry that baggage into the next year and that is not healthy so i feel like journaling and reflecting is something that is going to help me to let, get closure from this whole year and get into the new year with a clean slate and 
have a good mentality and have a good mindset you know a new mindset to it i just want to get into 2023 with a positive mindset a fresh mind a fresh start because let me not lie right now i'm exhausted like i'm drained guys like i'm so tired but i want to get into 2023 with a new fresh mindset i would don't want to get in feeling tired i want to feel energetic honey another thing i'm trying to, i'm actually going to be doing as i'm getting into 2023 is self-care taking care of myself mentally emotionally and physically taking care of myself i want to pamper myself i want to my skin to look good next year like let me not lie to you my skin looks good but because of the grace of god why it looks good i i don't take care of my skin i don't take care and i don't do i don't take off my skin guys i'm not going to lie i use different things and i put vaseline i don't put any i just try anything you know and i when i feel it getting itchy i let go but i want to be spontaneous i want to be i want to have leaves soft you know i want to do bath bombs in a tub even though there's a lot of shortage in zimbabwe <laughs> do my nails i'm not a nail girl but then like i want to do something that would make me feel like a princess i want to look good i want to smell good i want to look like that girl that i think i am and that everyone thinks i am i want to be that girl you know so self-care also like um self-care electrically like getting rid of toxicity bad energy bad vibes and i know it's kind of childish that um you start cutting off people getting to the new year i i don't need to do that because i've already cut off the people that i feel like are not serving me and are not bringing value into my life i feel like i'm wasting my time with them so just decluttering my phone you know there's some people you've had their numbers for like for like a month and you haven't said a word what's the point of keeping their number when you're not talking to each other like the whole point of having someone's phone in like number on the whatsapp especially is for you to communicate and if you're not doing that then i that defeats the whole purpose of you having their number in the first place so things like that it's just me deleting someone's number they're already out of my life technically but then it's just emotionally they're already out of my life mentally they're already out of my but just deleting decluttering my phone deleting pictures doing all of that guys reflecting on the year appreciating the people that have been there for you since day one that's what i'm gonna be doing and i would like you guys to actually practice some of these things like take some time to reflect on how you handled certain situations this year be proud of the person you're becoming be proud of the decisions you made stand firm by them sometimes you may not be proud of the decisions you made by stand firm with them and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, here's to 2022. Cheers to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring back your... Memories bring back, memories.